Good morning, everybody. Uh, if you watched yesterday's update, you know that Gabriel's got four teeth now, and they're giving that poor guy a little, uh, that poor little guy fits, and he has not been napping real well. His morning nap was very short. Uh, Mogaw has him next door right now at Aunt Susie's, and we're about to go for a walk to see if maybe that kind of takes his mind off of his new teeth and uh, just gives him a reason to smile this morning because he's been kind of kind of whiny and a little cry this morning. So we're trying to knock him out of that funk and hopefully turn this day around. Have a good day. You excited about your walk? You got a real grouchy face on, buddy. This is a house across the street. It's for sale. Um, some people bought it and they're flipping it so it's for sale again. But uh, there's an ongoing debate about the color scheme and, and the renovations. The brick all used to be regular brick color and that brown wasn't staying that way and that's a new door. So we're wondering, we want to know what you, what you think in the comments. Tell us what you think about the white and the, the painted white brick, the blue door and the wood stain. All opinions are safe. We're just curious to know what other people think. I think the walk has done some good. He's uh, seems to be in a pretty good mood. He's been talking to stuff that we've passed by, talking to Aunt Vicky and Aunt Sandy who came on the walk with us, and now we're headed back to the house for a bottle. So let's see. Did you enjoy your walk? <laughs> Did you enjoy your walk? Hey. Hey. <laughs> oh, you wanna you wanna grab the phone? The camera? <laughs> I think we have a happy baby. And just like that we're fussy again. That's the dog's blanket. Are you fussy? Are you hungry? He's due for a bottle, so hopefully that makes him happy again, because we were doing so well with the walk, and as soon as we came inside, he's, uh... Uh. <laughs> uh. uh. So, well, we'll see what happens as he chews on his jumper. Poor teething baby. Y'all, I just performed a perfect rocker to crib transition of a sleeping baby. He didn't even squirm. I got up, laid him down, stayed asleep, slipped out of the room. Perfect. Feeling pretty good about myself. Alright, Gabriel's been napping for a little over an hour and a half. And uh, Sarah's mom came over and uh, offered to watch the baby so that I could go next door and have some lunch. I think I'm gonna do that now. I heard there's supposed to be some pretty good food going on over there. Well, that was delicious, and I'm very sorry I didn't film any of it, but it was one of those situations where you get there and everything is uh, looks so good that you just kind of immediately dive in. I was busy stuffing my face when I got a uh, text message from Mogaw telling me that Gabriel is up from his nap, so we're gonna get him up and, and check his diaper and everything, and then probably take him back next door if he's in the mood for it. So we'll see what happens. Did you have a good nap? There's a happy baby face. Happy baby face. Dirty diaper. He's focusing on that buckle. You in a better mood? It's 
certainly hope so. Was he in a bad mood? Yeah, he got a little fussy after his walk. <laughs> Now what you gonna do? I think that's considered a rock and a hard place. You gonna be a gymnast when you grow up? Kissing yourself in the mirror. <laughs> Are you kissing yourself? I love that baby. <laughs> that is super cute. <laughs> 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 he just immediately slams his face into it. I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sarah got a box in the mail. And I really want to open it because I'm just curious to know what it is. But it's her box, so I'm not going to open it. Gabriel wants me to open it. But I have no idea what it is. If it was a tiny box, I would say it's probably some kind of random makeup thing. But this box is long. And it's light. I kind of shook it. I have no idea what this is. I'm not going to open it. And I have one more chore for myself this afternoon before Sarah gets home. That is to not really baby proof the living room, but remove some of the things that he could get to that he doesn't need to get to now that he's so, so mobile. We have a power. <laughs> we have a power roller on our hands until he really figures out how to crawl, but he's still kind of, he can get, get around very quickly. Can't you? Yep, 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 yep. So earlier today I was sitting here, I was literally sitting right here, watching him roll around over here, and uh, my phone rang, I picked it up, turned around and heard the subtle roll, ruddling, rust, rustling of, of those things. Threw my phone down and Snatched him up real quick and realized it's time to move these things to the garage for the foreseeable future. We hardly ever 
ever use this fireplace anyway. So it's time to move some stuff. The baby proofing has begun. <laughs> Jacob wants to know what's in the box? <laughs> what's in the box? Gabriel wants to know too. He wanted me to open it. He tried to get me to open it, but I wouldn't. What's that for? It's a big old paddle. It's actually the smallest size. It's two and a half feet. It's the biggest small paddle I've ever oh, seen. Oh wait. So two and a half feet is twenty-four. <laughs> oh crap, I'm trying to do math. What's a half? <laughs> what? So a foot is twelve. Yeah. So half of it is six. So yeah. twenty-four plus six is thirty inches. So if we could see how tall Gabriel is if we could get him to stand next to the paddle. <laughs> he wants to eat that paddle. Yes, he does. What's that paddle for? We are having a retirement party for someone in my office. You gonna beat him with it? <laughs> yeah. She's moving to the lake, and so instead of everyone signing a card, I'm having everyone sign the paddle. Oh, that's very nice. Yes, I'm on the party planning committee. Party planning committee. <laughs> So that was what was in the box. And that was what was in the box. You ready for some pears? Pears. You remember that. You like those. It's warm, warm today. Pears all by themselves. Nothing mixed in. <laughs> I don't know about that one. <laughs> you hear him those teeth? Is that what that is? Yeah. You okay? <laughs> that was weird. Gabriel's done eating and that's perfect because I just finished working out and Sarah just came to get me and tell me it's time to start the nighttime routine where you give Gabriel his baby massage. Um, my job is the official baby distractor. I do everything from toss balls into the air, make stuffed animals talk, uh, and just tickle his nose, all kinds of things that kind of distract him from the baby massage, which is odd enough, odd because if I was getting a massage, I wouldn't want to be distracted. But he gets a little fussy at bedtime. So I have to go do my duties as the official baby distractor. I think we may cut it off there. We'll see how, how things are going. Well, it's bedtime and in typical Gabriel fashion, he's fighting it and pitching a fit and does not want to uh, end his day. I think he likes being around us and going to bed means he has to be by himself. So, Sarah's giving him baby massage and I'm neglecting my duties as the baby distractor. So, we're gonna let you go here. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe so that you get, uh, so you can see everything else we post. Click the little bell so you get the notifications and leave us a comment if you have any bed baby bedtime recommendations, things to uh, <laughs> make that process a little easier, let us know. Or anything else you want to say. Our baby's cute, you love our videos, we're funny, you're going to tell all your friends, any of that kind of stuff. So, uh, we look forward to see hearing from you. See you guys next time.